Here it is again. Hello, this is Wanda from Wanda.tv. Today I'm going to talk about a great new service from Google which came out. Uh, I don't know if it's great. Some people are still debating whether it's great or not. It's called SideWiki. And I'm going to take you through some of the paces of what it can do, uh, what it involves, and my thoughts on all that stuff. SideWiki is a, a Google project and it's something that's been around and I wrote a you can go to google.com slash sidewiki if you want to get more information and install it first thing I want to tell you that it does require Google toolbar so uh, <clears throat> you need Firefox 2.0 or higher or Internet Explorer 6.0 or higher a Google Chrome version will be coming uh, I believe it's going to be built into the browser itself so uh, you if you use Chrome don't worry you'll be having it soon and <clears throat> I wrote a blog post on what I thought about it, but it allows you to annotate or basically comment on any page on the internet, any page. Uh, so you don't need to worry about the commenting system that's installed, whether it's Discuss or Intestabate or Backtype or, or, or uh, JSKit, all these different commenting engines or Blogger.com. This is a sidebar type deal, and you can just basically open a sidebar and comment on any site. So I wrote up this blog post about it. I say Google Side Wiki. If you go to Borna.org, it's the latest post. Google Side Wiki shakes up the web, and I give some examples from people around the web who believe that this is going to cause a problem because content owners are not going to be able to, uh, they're not going to be able to control the content, and there's going to be a spamming problem, which was the case with the site long ago called Third Voice. Ten years ago, there was a big nasty backlash. I have it linked here. Third Voice had a similar service, and people abused it. So hopefully Google won't do that. But that's the controversy surrounding it. If you want more controversy um, information, go to my blog at buona.org, and you can check out that article. So let me give you some examples of what it does. Here I'm on Jeremiah Al Yang's. I, I always mess up his name. I'm just going to call him Jeremiah. And he has a blog post about SiteWiki and it's very informative you know good for businesses he's got 60 responses on the comments but if you look to the side here there's a little icon here which shows you that there are side wiki entries about this page now if we go to another page you know there may not be see like on my page there's nothing there yet but on these other pages there's these little things here that denote that side wiki is there so if you click on this little arrow it'll expand a sidebar and within the sidebar you'll see all the different commenting entries for this page only and when you click on the entry it highlights it and expands it you can vote whether it's useful or you can report abuse or you can share it to your favorite social network or email or by the link uh, they got Twitter and Facebook up <coughs> excuse me I got Twitter and Facebook up here now I imagine they'll be adding more later so one of the cool things about this is that you can annotate stuff so if you can highlight certain parts of the post and you can see that it puts a little thing here it says write an entry about the selected text if I click that it'll quote that particular text in my entry and it will highlight it when people comment about it it's very very cool stuff so I'm not gonna post that let me show you another example I just posted one on my Buona.tv post uh, this is the feature video on YouTube right now what are your top console exclusives for 2009 and I put a little entry over here I said I should have included infamous in retrospect infamous is a top title for 2009 for PS3 as well so if you want you don't have to use the built-in commenting engine I have you can come over here and use Google side wiki and not worry about it. now how would you track all this I mean you're commenting all over the web what you do is you go to your Google profile I'm gonna show you mine and there's an entry here there's a tab here called side wiki you click on that and it'll show you all of your side wiki comments very very cool stuff you can also subscribe to them in your RSS reader or subscribe to someone else's side wiki comments very very cool so this is side wiki is an overview of what it does very simple you can publish helpful information read insights and context and share on different social networks so you can install it with Google toolbar it puts a little button up here you see it says side wiki there and it, that does the same thing as the button on the side it expands it so if you if you go to a blog post and you don't see that little thing there you can add one so let's go to um, let's go to one of my other posts here and you'll see uh, let's see let's go to recent posts I'll go to PS3 Slim Salt Jones the that PS3 Slim Jones the Sony camp bring that up 
there's nothing over here if I click over here and say use your dipstick Jimmy now you're thinking with your dipstick Jimmy I don't know I just love that commercial if you don't know what I'm talking about search for it on YouTube so now this particular post will have as soon as it finishes publishing we'll have a new comment on SideWiki. I can see it in my profile and now it's got a little icon there. Alright, this is Bonner from Bonner.tv. This is a quick overview of SideWiki, some thoughts about it, some demonstration of it, and how you can utilize it in your day-to-day -day surfing. Take care, guys, and enjoy.